So, what I would like to do this morning is to tell you a little bit about the climate science from the point of view of a climate realist. Our main conclusion, as you see, is the report of the non-governmental international panel on climate change. This report is entitled Nature, Not Human Activity, Rules the Climate. This means that we believe the evidence shows that the climate change is caused by natural forces and not by human activities. Now, you know, of course, that the climate has changed all the time cooling, warming, cooling, warming. We've had ice ages during which Scandinavia, in fact, northern Europe, was covered by thick sheets of ice, about uh, five kilometers thick. And the ice has now disappeared. And we're in a warm period awaiting the next ice age, which may come at any time. We don't know when. The world has seen 17 ice ages in the last 2 million years. So we're sure there will be another one soon. We may not be around to see it, but our offspring, children, grandchildren, may actually experience it. There's no reason to think that these natural changes of climate have suddenly stopped. They're, they keep going on, they're occurring now, and in fact, during the last century, we've seen both warming and cooling. Some of you may be too young to remember, but uh, there was great excitement between 1940 and 1975 when the climate cooled. In fact, books were written about coming ice age. I remember seeing books, newspaper articles around 1970, uh, warning of a new ice age and imploring the government to do something about a coming ice age. Of course, we don't know what the government can do about an ice age. Now, having said this, I will tell you that there's also a plausible case for human influence on climate. We believe that carbon dioxide, a major greenhouse gas, has increased in the atmosphere as a result of human activity, as a result of the burning of fossil fuels. And carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. So the case for a human influence is plausible. By this I mean it's possible. So how do you decide whether current changes are caused by nature or by humans? How would you do that? You can ask a thermometer, but they won't tell you. They can't talk. They don't know. What we have to do is investigate the problem from the point of view of science. This means looking at the evidence. And what we look at is the record of temperature. We measure temperature over time in different places and at different altitudes in the atmosphere and try to determine from this whether the change is natural or whether it is human. Now this tells you who we are. This was an international panel of about 30 scientists from almost 20 nations, including Scandinavia, the Scandinavian region, Germany, England, Israel actually, uh, Canada, United States, and so on. We try to match the diversity and expertise of the UN IPCC. And as you can see, we have two reports. We have a summary report called Nature, Not Human Activity Rules the Climate which is easy to read and which you can get on the internet. If you simply go to Google and put in NIPCC, you will get both reports. 
The one on the right was published only a few months ago. Oops. Here we go. And that is a very thick report. I don't have it with me. Did you bring it this morning? No, I didn't. Oh, too bad. It's, it's about those thick, very heavy, and I didn't want to carry it. I don't want to pay excess baggage on uh, the airline. And I don't recommend it for light reading either, but it is very useful as a reference. It covers all aspects of climate change, including the biological aspects, the agricultural aspects, and human health. Well, this report here concentrates mainly on the physical and chemical science. And now I'd like to tell you something about the, how we disagree with the IPCC, why we disagree with the United Nations, why we disagree with the Copenhagen Conference, and every attempt to regulate carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, which, as you heard from Craig Rucker, really means regulating energy use, which means regulating your economy, every aspect of your life. We're against that. We see no scientific basis whatsoever for this. The IPCC was set up by the United Nations about 20 years ago. It has a mandate, which is written out in their report. This is their mandate. This tells what they're supposed to be doing. I have highlighted here the fact that they're supposed to look at the science in a comprehensive, objective, open, and transparent basis. None of this is true. They are not objective, they're not comprehensive, they're not open, and they're not transparent. As you probably learned during the last two weeks, there has been an attempt, a successful attempt, by a small group of scientists mainly from England and the United States, to control the IPCC and to eliminate any dissent, any difference of opinion, anyone who believes that the climate change could be due to natural factors. They have largely succeeded, and if you read the newspapers, television, in fact, the whole Copenhagen Conference is based on the belief that human activities are important and need to be regulated. That is all based on the IPCC report, which is false. And I will try to show, show this to you. 